We've had two really bad stalker stories. One was focused on Bailey and one was focused on me and we've not really had anything outside of those two. Okay. Yeah, mo most of the other ones are pretty, like a couple other squabbles, but minor. And then we had two like really like major, like scary, 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 scary situations. Yeah. So you saw them in person? I did from my my guy. I did um, on, let's see, one, two, three, four, okay, four occasions. Jeez. He would just show up everywhere we were. That's why we were seeing him all the time because it was like, it quite literally stalking. Like it was like where we were, he was there. So that's mm, why she yeah. saw him so much. But the hard part is like, Police like a to law file enforcement a restraining has to have report. certain things wow. yeah, in order to get involved. And I it tried, wasn't. and they like told me I had to have a recording of myself telling him to leave me alone. And then he had to physically show up again oh after and they had to, to leave me alone to get a restraining order. Property. Yeah, yeah, it was like a whole okay. list of there things. There were like so what many. What do people do though? Because like that's you. You already had the altercation, so I guess if people listening right now ever have a situation like that you should take a video yeah. because then video that can first time. immediately the first time okay, immediately and say literally the words say leave, leave me, me alone, alone. I, I have no interest in seeing you, you. okay and yeah. then if they show up again it's like but then again this was six years ago so okay. maybe it's different now i'm not sure i was also 17 so yeah. i i couldn't even remember probably properly but that's what i remember happening yeah. is like we had to get a recording of him and wow. by the time i would we just tell anyone that's in a dangerous situation record it, even everything. if you're feeling uncomfortable just record everything for you know yeah. evidence yeah. purposes for like and then if you ever feel like you, someone is stalking you get a very 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 clear recording of you saying i do not want you to follow me this is against my will will okay yeah and then at that point the police can get more involved because yeah. like at that point you've directly said i do not want well this. and i think at first we just i don't know in my memory it was like when it was happening, it wasn't registering as big of a deal as it now feels, yeah. if that makes sense. I think sense. there's a lot of things that happened to me in high school yeah. that I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, what? That was I crazy. Know. We were just talking about that. What were we talking about? Things when you're, that's why it's kind of scary even like so many things like having teenagers, like your view of perception is not, your view of reality is not. Yeah. you're trustworthy yeah I'm like yeah. you're just like man you know yeah, like oh, that's kind of how yeah. I was I was like yeah I mean I was scared yeah like there's a guy stalking me but not to the degree I probably should have been like the first time he showed up I should have called the cops you know what I mean like yeah I should have been way more intense about it but at the time it just I don't know it just didn't register I don't know what teenage brains I thought maybe it was a one-off scenario okay. well yeah sure. there's a lot of things you could also explain away yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and you did get a restraining order though eventually. No, no, oh, I you never, never did. did. Not with so we got stalker, the no. recording of us saying "Leave me alone," okay. and then he that showed up less. at my school, but not within a physical like. It's really hard to explain, but okay. basically, like, not enough to get a restraining order. You got a restraining order? Yeah. So, well, sort of. This is a complicated. This one's a very complicated story. It's. Oh. I'll give you the general details. There was someone in our DMs very obsessed with me, particularly with my virginity. Um, and like, it just a te another teenage boy. Um, and eventually it got heated to the point where he figured out where we were going to church when I was in college and showed up there and kind of camped out the parking lot and then um, threatened to do a lot of dangerous things if I didn't see him and Anyway, I had to get police involved and that he did actually get arrested on site and they put a rest arrest on sorry, they found him and then they put an arrest on site for like my school campus and my church. So if he ever came back around, they could arrest him on site. So kind of like a restraining order, but not like for me personally, just more the area cuz he did threaten to, you know, do some dangerous things in the area. So um yeah, that was uh, that was one where it was I have like a case file of like all the information about him, his car, his license plate, everything that I still wow. have. And for some reason, like I'm still case. sitting here like nervous to talk about it for some reason. Like I'm still like, oh, like mm. what if this has like repercussions or something? Mm. But you know what? This is the reality. This is what happens to us. Mm. Here you go. So sorry. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. No, okay. I mean, I'm just grateful that considering the career and the length of the career we've had, that... It hasn't it's been, been so more. minimal for us and I had no direct contact with my 
dude. What can people do to like protect themselves that that <laughs> uh, other than to do a recording if there's ever an altercation to show to the police? Yeah, and, don't post where you are publicly, like IRL. Moment, yeah. Um, okay. Don't show license plates and addresses. Don't hand out personal information like phone numbers, emails, okay. anything. Also, I would say listen to your gut because even yeah. when you're like because it's so especially i feel like as women you dismiss it so often you're like oh i'm just like i'm making it up in my head he's not really following me or oh i'm like in the grocery store and that guy kind of looked at me weird but like no he's not doing that like i would say follow your gut if you're feeling uncomfortable remove yourself from I the do, scenario i do now like in the moment when that guy showed up the first time i just had like i mentioned it in the tiktok but i just had like a sick feeling like sick and I'd never seen this man never talked to this man I just had a sick feeling and sure enough it ended up being pretty bad and so now like I don't even question it I don't even stick around yeah. I'm like I'm out 